I thought I'd do a, a video, care guide video on some newer pets that I've got. I've had them for a, for a little while now, but I don't shit really see much on these online or anything like that. So I just thought I'd give a little insight into what's in here, how I'm keeping them and everything else like that. Um, so this Viv is four foot high, two foot wide, two foot deep. And it's home to two micro squirrels or African pygmy dormice at the minute. But I will be getting another three at the weekend, uh, another unrelated trio. So that'll give me five in this enclosure, which this enclosure is plenty big enough to swallow these up. Um, so yeah, I'll just have a little in depth look, see what we're keeping them and how we're doing it. So up here I've got just a normal water drinking bottle for like hamsters and mice that's just that one there it's a 200 mil one that one a good size one and over here I've got another one which looks a bit cloudy and a bit funky at the minute because that's got honey and maple syrup mixed in it just to give them like a nectar drink which they they need really and they do drink it they do like it so it's good for them that's just a little 150 mil one is obviously the water is more important really than that. So this is how I'm keeping on. There's a little fruit spike that I made there, just out of four mil threaded bar with a little end cap on. It's got banana, apple, pear, sometimes tomato I put on there as well. And um, that's one of the food bowls. I keep them like full most of the time. And I've got another one down there, which is exactly the same food, apart from that one's got some dried mealworms in it constantly. And this, just like a little hay rack, I made out of a stainless steel fat ball feeder from Pets at Home. But I think, as you can see, they've probably made a little nest in there and they might even be down in there. So I have no idea where they sleep in the day. I only really see them on a night. And I've got a, a glass bed full of hay as well that I had um, custom made so I was always planning on getting these but I've, I never got around to it until I sold most of my reptiles it's nine inches square with a little one and a half inch lip at the bottom just to contain the, the bedding this is 32 mil like hessian hemp rope almost that's from B&Q and a couple of exoterra plants and mainly grapevine and mapwood, but this branch here, this um, cord branch, that's all hollow inside and it's about that diameter, so they, they easily fit inside it, so I'd be surprised if they're not running up in there. Yeah, but I got a light on, just a bog standard LED bulb, just so that I can give them a proper day and night cycle. It's on for like eight and a half hours a day. It goes off about half past eight at night and with it being our summer and it'll in winter I'll reduce it. But yeah, it's really cool. And they do like to eat a lot of fruit. And the main diet is this here, which I use a hamster muesli, which is from Pets at Home in England. And some sunflower seeds, which they absolutely go mad for. They really do love them. So I definitely recommend them. Wild bird seed mix, dried mealworms and all I do is mix it in a tub, just however much I think, and then, yeah, that's how I feed it, so it's ready made, so I ain't got to just mess around, I just fill the tub up when it's empty, and that's it. Then they get fresh fruit, a little bit of vegetable every day, and then they get honey every day in a little bowl. Um, I do have another enclosure exactly the same size there, which I'm currently in the process of doing up like that one just because I'm hoping to probably get another colony of these or possibly flying squirrels, sugar gliders um, obviously remove the heat mat make it rodent safe as such and um, yeah, that's it really I've kept sugar gliders in the past I won't mind giving them a go again now I've drastically reduced my reptile collection just to a couple of snakes and the tortoise that you can no doubt hear digging at the top Oh yeah, these are very fast little animals, nocturnal. They are quite friendly, they will 
come up to you if they see you and like, lick honey off your fingers, take the odd seed and mealworm from you. Um, the vents, as you can see, there's one at the top, one at the bottom. They're covered with fiberglass rodent mesh from behind, just in case they do ever decide to chew their way out of there. But so far, so good. I've seen no chewing whatsoever on any of the wood, the branches. Uh, not even the fake plants. I've not seen them nibble them or anything. So I'd say they're pretty content. And obviously I'll change it around, add some other bits as and when I feel they need a little change. So yeah, they're really cool little animals. I do recommend them. Um, obviously not for little kids really, just because the fact they are so fast. And they will drop their tails if you annoy them or grab hold of them. And obviously that's not good for the health of the animal, so try and avoid that. I'll put some pictures up of them actually asleep in the bed in a minute because with them being nocturnal they won't be out now. So yeah I just thought I'd do a little care video, a little setup video because all the videos I see online is just people showing them in the hand not the actual setup and how to keep them. And I find that more useful as such than just a picture of the animal. And my room gets to around 20 degrees constant so there's no heat on this viv at all it's just room temperature yeah that's it really just a quick look